So this lecture is about um, the 1920s, and the Republicans controlled the White House and Washington, D.C. during this period. And this is about a quick lecture about uh, the Republicans' run in the 1920s, how they ruled what they believed in, and how well businesses dur did during that period. So we'll start with um, – this is a picture of the Republican National Convention in 1920, which I think was in St. Louis, I think. But the Democratic Party was a party of immigrants at that time. It was a party that was being built during this era. It would really come into its own when Franklin Roosevelt um, takes over the party. From 1921 to 1933, the Republicans – ran the country. All right, I'm going to change the slide. This is Warren G. Harding. Um, he was very popular. Um, unfortunately, um, he died in office, but he was very popular. He was an isolationist, which means he wanted to avoid getting, uh, making agreements with other countries or getting involved in wars or even the businesses with other countries. He wanted high tariffs on imports, which would, uh, because that would make imports more expensive and would direct Americans to buy products made in America. The problem is a lot of times um, our exports were hurt by this because if we raised taxes on imports using tariffs, so would other countries against our imports. He also um, did something very good for Germany, which is create the Dawes Plan, which helped Germany pay off its debts, the massive debts it was still uh, holding after World War I. And I'm going to change the slide again here. The Republicans also returned to the belief of nativism. Um, they relied on patriotism, claiming that foreigners who immigrated to this country can never truly be loyal to the United States. Uh, you see that a lot these days when they talk about immigration. It also talks about religion. In the 1920s, Republicans did not, or not just Republicans, but conservatives, did not trust Catholics. They didn't trust Jews. They didn't trust Orthodox Christians like uh, um, uh, Eastern Orthodox religion or uh, oh, Greek Orthodox. There's a couple of Greek, Greek Orthodox churches in town. So if you weren't a mainstream Christian, then you were out of luck. The Republicans did not want you. That meant that... Catholics, Jews, and Orthodox Christians joined what party? That's right, the Democratic Party. Also, a lot of immigrants coming from Europe were either Orthodox or Catholics, and a lot of immigrants who were coming from all over the world were Jewish. So that is another reason why the Democratic Party was the party of immigrants. The old, they're taking our jobs slogan was, was they use it today, and they used it in the 1920s. Foreigners were taking the jobs of Americans. So we need to stop the foreigners. We talked about the Red Scare last class, and that was a big part of the way Republicans became popular, was they would protect us against communism. They would protect us against the communists coming into this country and starting problems. I'm going to change the slide again. The Teapot Dome scandal is the big blemish on Warren G. Harding's administration. Uh, this Teapot Dome scandal was a... The Teapot Dome was an area of a national park that sort of was shaped like a, a the dome. Not the teapot itself, but the little cover of the teapot, the dome. And in this um, scandal, it became out that Warren G. Harding had a lot of different scandals. There was a lot of corruption going on in his, in his administration. In the Teapot scandal, the Interior Secretary, who's in charge of the national parks, took a $300,000 bribe to let this part of the national park be uh, mined. You know, mines would come in and get resources out. And so that was sort of a, a huge scar on the administration of Warren G. Harding. And that is the end of the first part of this lecture.